Yo, 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 so I'm about to show you guys how to use OBS to screen record and talk over and do NBA highlight casts or whatever. Um, it's fun. I like doing it. So here we go. First, obviously, go download OBS. Here's the window. Um, actually, let's get this Chrome setting up all the way here. Right. So you go to OBS, just Google it download windows download that um it'll give you like a suggestion to optimize for streaming or recording if you're not going to be doing too much streaming live streaming on twitch youtube whatever um just optimize for recording you can change those settings later obviously but um those are different those are more detailed i probably won't do the settings today that's a different that's a different thing um so anyway, let's get to the basics here. Basically, you'll see this screen on your OBS when you first open it up. Uh, and you see I have my display capture, which is actually cut up to show you this portion of the bottom portion of the screen. You can see my um, mouse. This portion of OBS is kind of where everything happens. Uh, what you do to get the display is you add you just add something there. The display capture is basically just your screens, the different screens that you see. You can see it's cut out on the video, but when you click display capture, this type of screen comes up. And from there, you just hit OK. You can name it whatever you want. Um, and then hit OK. Now what you can do is just you can pick from whichever one is coming right now it's like an infinity screen because it's recording and showing the screen which is recording and showing the screen infinity times you hit okay and then your display just pops up on here as you can see i don't like this because normally if you're on a mac especially it slows it down this infinity loop thing so i'm just going to delete it what you do is select it hit minus it's it's deleted and i'm, I'm back um if you if you want to add the camera you just hit plus again you go to video capture device you title it whatever uh, cam then select the camera i already have my camera running so it's not letting me do a second one um, and yeah so the camera is not going to show anything because i already have my camera running in this display ca or this camera right here so i'm going to delete the new one i just created if you want you can right click properties change whatever if you have another camera that's connected that you want to use you can do that um the mic stuff you want to hit add audio input capture uh and just hit okay now you can select and this this thing should should pop up let me show you on the screen right here then all the choices come right here microphone microphone real tech audio whatever um, and you just choose, I choose the Yeti, which is what the Yeti is here. Um, again, you can go in, right click on that and change it. Now, how do I record audio from the computer? You go into settings, which is right here. And you'll see a bunch of stuff pop up that's not popping up on my screen. It's kind of showing here. This screen right here is gonna be what you see. Um, and then from there, you go to uh general no audio uh, desktop audio is disabled or whatever it is it might all be disabled to start desktop audio just choose your screen what like the yeti gives the screen audio as well as um in, as an input and an output so you can choose the yeti if you, you can choose your computer um, audio if you want so if you're playing music or if you're playing like a video it records the sound of your computer as well you can have two different things that's how I do it I put the Yeti and then I also use um, the display capture audio display or the desktop audio function so if I do that let me just show you what happens um, audio desktop audio I'm choosing my computers default audio system so now see how it popped up here it popped up here so now there's no audio coming from my system but if i were to say go to youtube 
and then hit whatever video. Let's see what my first. This should be working, but it's not. Interesting. So that's not working. Let's see why it's not working. You go to audio, desktop audio, NVIDIA high def. So yeah, I just selected the wrong one. Um, I selected my aux output instead of my actual screen's output. So that's what I wanted. I think this should work now. Still not working. Let's see why audio instead of that. Let's do the Yeti. Okay. Now seven or eight yeah. years. Right. It's been a while. But wherever you're while. listening to your sound um, from, we got to do Walter White Boy Flow three. Though. That's where you got to. That's where you got to select it, um, because like on your actual Windows, you're listening to it from somewhere. This should match the desktop audio. That's why uh, I was selecting. Realtek or NVIDIA, it might be different for whatever computer you have, but whatever you're currently listening to your computer from is what you should select on the desktop audio in the settings menu in the audio tab right here. Desktop audio, select, match this to whatever's here. Now you're recording your mic, you're recording the sound, um, and all that is, all you can do now is just move or maneuver the the screen actually you're not really seeing my screen so let me just give you guys a little bit of detail so if you go properties here um, again see you can select different things that's actually not what I wanted to do what I wanted to do was go to display capture right click and then there's transform it's off the screen here but transform what I'm gonna do is reset my transform see now you can it's the whole thing it's the um, whatever the infinity thing so but right now you can see my whole screen and you can grab this corner bring it down all the way see now I'm in the background there's this screen capture is above my camera why because um, let's move it below everything see now my camera is above the screen um, the display capture was where I was showing you that below setting see see this so let me show you how to do that you right click on display capture or what it, this works on everything you right click on display capture you go to transform you edit transform top you want to crop the top um, by around 800 whatever it's just kind of plug and play and then you want to crop the left because you want the left side of the screen not there right or that's actually a little bit too much let's just do a thousand so see now I only have the section of the screen where it's OBS and the reason why I do that is because I can't actually window capture OBS and I don't know if I showed you window capture but let me show you if you do plus and you do window capture window capture you can call it like Chrome 2 I already have one Chrome 1 so Chrome 2 hit OK Chrome 2 hit OK now you can choose your windows whatever internet window you want right so right now I already have one so I'm gonna delete Chrome 2 I didn't select anything so it's blank delete Chrome 2 um, and the Chrome the Chrome I have right now is just my window right so normally I'll just like go to NBA.com I'll watch games while I'm watching the game I'll record I'll talk over it and yeah, that's kind of how it works. My setup for it, let me again edit, let me show you the exact setup for it, just to be full. Um, reset transform, so you see my full screen. I'll have my camera in front of it, right? So I'll have my camera in front of it. A little, like, this is how it looks. So camera right there. Oh shit. Um, and then I'm moving OBS off of my screen right now because you don't really need to see it. So now see how you see my screen and my camera. I make this full screen. I'll like watch one of these games. Warriors Clippers. Um, pull it up. And I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory at this point. Uh, you just have the game up. You full screen it. You talk over it. Watch out for copyright laws. <laughs> But that's basically how it gets. Following is a presentation. All right, 
So now I talk, so what you do now, actually, I should probably show you that too. So you just hit the record button and you can select where it's going to by hitting file. Um, actually, no, not file, settings. Again, in this corner, settings, output, recording path, browse, select your path file, recording path, browse, select that. Now, um, it'll save, so when you hit start recording, and then when you hit stop recording, it'll just save it to that spot. And then you can go, take that, drag it into Twitter, um, that stuff you all know, uh, and then that's just kind of my process. So hopefully this helps you out. Um, Stevie and Josh, shouts to you guys who are probably the only ones listening to this for a while, but I'll probably put this up on YouTube and all that as well as a tutorial. Uh, peace.